Welcome. This is James Cox at the Martial Arts Lifestyle. And this is our podcast number 14. We are America's self-protection, personal development, and fitness experts with something for everyone. The Martial Arts Lifestyle Podcast is just that. It's a way to discuss and share, to educate, to motivate, to entertain you guys on martial arts and those life skills that carry over outside of a martial arts school. Today, I want to talk to you pretty much about one word, tradition, and then along with tradition is, is the opposite, which I'm going to kind of call modern. So there's a traditional way and there's a modern way. And this is a debate in the martial arts world quite often, um, you know, from martial arts that was done 2000 years ago. And, you know, things are being created literally as I speak and the differences and the pros and the cons and which is better and all of that stuff there. So, you know, there's there's definitely more than um, two ways to do things and starting with the end in mind. To get there in the end, there's many ways to get there. Which is better? Well, let's kind of talk about that. And is it pros and cons? And is it personal preference? And all of that stuff there. You know, you can get to the same place different ways. I live in Texas. I mean, I could get to California by airplane. Or I could get there by horse. You know, at the end of the day, eventually I'm in California. So the goal is met. I accomplished it. You know, success. Just two totally different ways of getting there. What are those pros and cons? Well, obviously, you know, I guess it depends on your goals and your interest and, and what you may enjoy. But the convenience uh, definitely would be a, a big difference in all of that. You know, martial arts, again, that, that was created long ago. Uh, I feel that it's very important that we respect that lineage and that heritage and to know where we came from and why. We personally still practice a lot of traditional old school martial arts. There's a time and a place and it can be effective in a lot of things that we do today. On the other side of that, it's important to be able to evolve. You know, everything changes, right? The only thing that doesn't change is change. So it's important, in my opinion, to be able to evolve, to, uh, to find some ways that have more efficiency and to improvement, if you would, to get there. You know, uh, I'm not anti-tradition. I believe in both. I think both has their benefits. But, you know, just kind of, again, is, is more on your interest and what you, wanna, what you want to accomplish. So let's start with a little story that, that's floated around the martial arts industry here and there at times. And the story goes like this. So let's imagine that there's a large family holiday gathering, if you will. So we have all the family in the house and a little girl's in the kitchen and she's watching her mom cook. And she notices that mom cuts the ends off the ham, puts it in the oven. And she sits there and she asks mom, she's like, mom, why do you cut the ends off the ham? And mom says, you know, I don't know. It's just the way it's always been done. But you know what? Go ask your grandma. She's there in the living room. So go ask her. So the little girl goes into the living room and she asks grandma, grandma, why do you cut the ends off the ham before you put it in the oven? Grandma says, well, that's the way it's always been done. But you know what? Your great grandma is out on the front porch. So why don't you go ask her? So the little girl go ask the same question to great grandma. Why do you cut the ends off the ham? And great grandma replies, well, dear, in my day, the ovens were too small. So it was the only way we could get the ham to fit in the oven was to cut the ends off from it first. Ah, interesting story, but it definitely makes me think, uh, should we question things? And why do we always do things the way it was done? Because it was done this way so many long years ago or centuries ago. Why do we still do them the exact same way? Things have changed and it's okay to question things in martial arts and in life because there very well could be a better way. You know, these things are called innovations and inventions and things that are created for many reasons. Um, I think answering the why, you know, I love when I'm teaching because people will ask me why and teaching makes me a better martial artist, a better person. It makes me understand things. Uh, we would say that teaching is the ultimate lesson because if I'm teaching a technique and a lot of students will just do whatever I say, just like I did what, whatever my instructor said, because why? Well, it's the way it was done. Why do we punch this way? Why do we kick this way? Why do we escape a headlock this way? It's the way it was done. You know, most people don't ask and don't question. I'm not saying that it's good to be, 
you know, disrespectful, but to kind of question and to ask why a good instructor should be open for that to give you the right answer. Because to me, what it does is it makes me articulate and find out why we do the technique this way or that way. And there was times like that little story where I literally had to go to my instructor and ask, well, why do we do this technique that way? Until we kind of found out an answer. And then sometimes we created a better way just by knowing and understanding. Uh, our founder, you know, I come from a mixed martial arts style, Kaji Kimbo. Kaji Kimbo was founded in Honolulu, Hawaii in 1947 to 1949. Uh, and the main founder, C. Joe Adriano D'Imperato, with four co-founders. And the way it spells kind of explains it. It combines karate, judo, jiu-jitsu, kimpo, Chinese boxing. So it has both very traditional roots and very modern, evolved roots. But, you know, our founder... Uh, C. Joe was very big on evolving and keeping the basics the same so you knew your foundation, but evolving and doing what also worked for you, changing with the times. He used some analogies and stories like imagine on the interstate today, some of the original cars like an old Model T versus what we have now, maybe a, a you know very modern a Tesla or something, right? They're going to be very different. Like I was saying before, they're doing the same thing. They're driving you from point A to point B, but one is moving much faster with much more comfort, much more you know convenience, much more ease, whereas the other one is um, not going to quite be able to s stay with the other cars, if you will, right? So good thing there was some ways to evolve and change and improve. We don't want to be like the dinosaurs, you know. We got to stay there. Uh, and just continue. We don't want to stay there. We got to continue to grow and 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 understand. I'll tell you another quick story that that comes to my mind when I think about changing and tradition versus making adjustments with new modern ways. Another friend of mine, uh, Grandmaster Augustine Lopez from Madrid, Spain, is in my opinion by far one of the best overall pound for pound martial artists that I've ever been able to train with and know this dude is amazing at all of his skills very well rounded but he was teaching us one day I've had a lot of um, I've had the luxury of being able to train with him many times especially in in the past and he came up with a similar story and it was it was cool because he didn't speak very good English so it would be translated and then it came back to us and you know basically he, he said something like um, so what if you went into a store to buy some new running shoes you go in, you buy these shoes, they're the most comfortable, nice, expensive, good quality shoes. You put them on and you start trying it out, you start walking, they feel really good. But then all of a sudden you notice some uncomfort, you know, you notice some discomfort. It starts hurting a little bit. You walk a little further and the bottom of your foot starts hurting. So you take a shoe off and you notice that there's a, a pebble inside of it. There's a little rock inside of the shoe. So the question is, do you leave it? Because it came that way, or do you simply take the pebble out, right? So you have to make a little adjustment sometime, you know, and that way it's more comfortable to you. Teaching martial arts, we might deal with a lot of different people on the same technique. And I know that day he was teaching certain drills, and we had some people that were tall, we had some people that were shorter, we had different speeds, you know, things like that. So we teach the same technique, but he was going over ways to adjust it, to modify it where it was a little bit different for this person so it would be more successful and where this person didn't have to step as far this person needed to or this person needed to get lower and this one didn't you know what about someone right-handed versus someone left-handed so you could say that is a, a good part of change you know as well bruce lee talked a lot about being a creative individual to be able to flow that you're not a specific system or style you're still a person, and you have to have the self-awareness, be able to express yourself. Um, you know, again, you can still keep tradition, but you got to you got to grow, and to be able to grow and learn, then you need to you need to adapt. And back to the word change, people think of change sometimes as negative, and it's not it's not always negative. It's definitely for the better at times. You know, depending on what you do, so you may have habits of things that were passed down, but then you may have things that need to be adjusted, and you can. You can ask yourself why, and you can ask questions and, and get better answers so that you know to involve, to improve. You know, overall, I kind of just wanted to talk about the word tradition, give a couple of stories, and kind of have you asking and thinking yourself that uh, are there some things that you're doing a certain way, and you don't even know why you're doing it. You have no clue why you're even doing it this way.
only because it's the way it was always done. And is there a better way? Is there a way that, that will work for you that maybe didn't work for someone else? Because we are all different people. Yeah, at the end of the day, we can do the same things and get there with success. Tradition or modern? I don't know. There's, there's places for both, right? All right, guys, that's it today. So thank you very much. Remember to check out the other podcasts as well as visit our YouTube channel, uh, James Cox Martial Arts. Thanks. Thanks.